We have so much to talk about. And I take so long to talk about it that uh, you gotta just settle in. I try and make quick videos, but they, they suck because they don't get the topics. And it's an interesting time. One person that I've found really interesting is the funky academic um, and his breakdown of white people and where the problems in our society lay for black people who are not free and I watch him and I enjoy his child that comes along and then uh, won't pay the dividends or she says something that involves multiple symbols or syllables like a hard word for a little baby and it's adorable um, and by and large I don't think we disagree it's nice when a know-it-all knows it all I mean that's an advantage and he's a little bit of a know-it-all but he makes really solid points I'll link to him in the description box if you care to follow up and just see what he's saying uh, I got him through Crystal and Sagar, and that means we're still promoting the Nig Traduction, which will be the introduction of the notion that it will be good for me to change my name to Fuck Crazy Nigger Fagatard. That notion that that is a good action, despite all that it costs me and my family and my fatherhood and the safety of everyone <laughs> according to some that notion should be discussed as i ignore the consequences of that notion because i'm a believer in my own uh, i drank my own kool-aid i prepared it it's delicious i didn't prepare the kool-aid packet but i trusted that i wasn't going to be poisoned and my cult is somewhat capitalistic Hmm. Twitter has silenced one of Trump's tweets, kind of, and I think it just really exposes the fallacy that the internet is a, an equalizer uh, unlike any other. So far, I guess that's true. But at some point in the internet of everyday things, BS like... Twitter hypocrisy will be more visible. Hopefully, if technology keeps advancing at the breakneck pace that it has been advancing at, one could hope that we could solve some things like being censored because people don't understand the meaning of the words you are using. And that fact that we censor people without understanding their meaning would surprise a great number of people. And most people do not encounter this kind of thing because they don't make a video saying fuck religion and encountering the YouTube atheist experience and fuck censorship and, and the name changes don't go from creative to uh, political as they have in my life. So I come with some solutions, but Funky Academic solutions are that we need to focus on the white family and that that's where uh, the solutions lie. And he talks about all the ways that uh, political progress can get sidelined. Anyway, he's, I, I think he's interesting. Um, I should have more to say. Right now is an egalitarian's dream because terrifyingly the word has never been more relevant and it is at the forefront of many many people's brains and the question of what exactly is that at their forefront is relevant politically and people dislike my videos talking about the nig introduction because there's kind of an impetus to say, don't change your name, your life's already been ruined once, why do you want to ruin it again? No. Ruination aside, this will be the fixing of multiple lives as we have this conversation. 
and it will truly take seriously things that are beyond the pale right now, like the need to legalize cocaine and organ sales, the need for, oh my goodness, there's so many things, sex work, how many things are we right on? I guess Kitane Kuhn, who's Unassumption's new name, I love this guy, you'll read him in the comment section if you look, uh, I bet he could list the number of life-saving policies that we've discussed on my various channels over the years. Um, it's weird to think of him growing up with me and getting older. I dig him. He's always been really thoughtful. And that's what I think is irritating to somebody like the funky academic, that I come to things with more of a thoughtful aim instead of a militaristic aim. And that's very much an approach that I'm forced into because I'm afraid of being wrong. I don't know yet whether supporting riots is right or wrong. Uh-oh, that's the weirdest thing in the world because that's not the right way to make political change. But is that focusing on the oppressed instead of the oppressor? as Funky Academic claims. Possibly, very possibly. Um, if you are rioting, I think he would claim, well, you're not free. Your life has gotten to that point because of a patriarchal white supremacist culture that has made your life crap intentionally. And I personally take participation in all color culture, I, I think that I have some musical parts from every culture, but more than that, I have the readiness to advance any position that anybody brings me that's nonviolent, because I've just decided for myself that I'm nonviolent. How far does that expand from me to others? There are definitely situations where you can be violent and right. 100% right. Even against me. As I got older, I did things that insup the hell out of me. And I have regrets so powerful that I'm ashamed every day of my life. And I think about my daughter every day just to let you know what my situation is. Not to make it about me. But... It is relevant if you're watching this video, me, you know, sorry. Who else am I going to film? I'm not allowed to film people. HIPAA is in place at my home, my place of living. So I claim sanism is worse than racism because sanism is part of the same process that Funky Academic uh, criticizes, but it is more inclusive because... When black people bring this up, they reach sanism very quickly. It is crazy to support a riot. No, it isn't. Don't say that word unless you're me or you freaking understand the C word argument, right? Because despite it forcing me into hypocrisy, I support a taboo around crazy. And I think progress can be made semantically in euphemize, fixing, semanticizing, changing the definition of that wretched world of rejection based upon your own perception, which is highly flawed, of insupation. Anyway, we've gotten into the thick of weird words, and this is a 10-minute video by now, so we'll talk more later, but there's so much going on.